So is how the attack works is that the attacker machine will send a specific spoofed IPv6 router advertisement to the victim machine making the victim machine think that the attacker machine is the router in the IPv6 network. So also not all, the only thing what is happening is that the victim will think that the attacks machine is the router but actually by the spoof packet the routing table of the physical machine will be manipulated to include the attacker's IPv6 local linked IP address meaning the IPv6 of the attacker will be the default IPv6 gateway and main prioritized routing table. So this attack could also be called a persistent IPv6 routing table hijacking including NTP spoofing for the network protocols regarding IPv6. So basically all the traffic even after stopping the attack will be routed to the attacker even afterwards because the routing table has the persistent cache of the attacker's IPv6 address. So all the victim's traffic will be redirected to the attacker's machine. So in the communication with Microsoft about it, this is a tag actually um, with low severity and not critical. However, um, they have reported that to the team responsible for maintaining the product or service. So they will take appropriate paid action as needed to help keep customers protected against these kind of attacks. So it could be that this kind of attack will be patched in the future. And yeah, um, this is something I have actually shared with Microsoft and this is something very uh, dangerous still because you can intercept traffic, data traffic of someone else. But it was great actually sharing that to Microsoft and having them fix it right now. Hello everyone, in this video I will demonstrate to you guys a man in middle attack on IPv6 on the NDP protocol, also called the Netboard Discovery Protocol, which actually assigns the IPv6 addresses on all the Windows or Linux or all kind of uh, operating systems by the router. So it has DHCP v6 and also Slack protocol, or let's say um, it, it's a auto assigning protocol to assign all the devices inside a network basically the IPv6 local link addresses so if you see for example the, um, for the Windows machine we have the local link IPv6 address here with the prefix 2 and the IPv4 and all that of course uh, doesn't belong to the IPv6 some will also have a public uh, IPv6 address which can actually go over one without NAT, basically network address translation. So in this attack what I'm gonna demonstrate is a man in middle attack spoofing the NDP protocol by root advertisement injection attack. So first of all I have written a tool called NTP spoof PI. So this is the help menu regarding that. So let's scan the network for the victims first of all. So let's say my Windows machine here is the victim, right? It's, it's the, my main system. So this is going to work on any system inside the local network. So if we, for example, make the source Mac, we can make a fake one, you know, just for scanning. And uh, we can also make the iFace, which is the... Um, interface that we are listening on the network adapter of the Linux machine of the Kali then we can make a destination 
sorry we need to actually listen right um, so we can just listen on the gateway so the gateway of our machine um, will have a one appending behind so now if we for example scan the network we can we will see this IPv6 uh, IPv4 sorry but also the IPv6 address um, from the router and also from the victim machine here so now we have sent up spoofing packet to actually scan the network if we see here we have scanned it and now what we can do is actually um, try to do the man in middle attack so first of all we need to spoof ourselves at the, as the router MAC address and then we need to s send to the destination MAC um, basically here so what we can do is actually write our source MAC as a router MAC address and then we will also keep the iFace interface we are gonna also add um, the destination MAC address which will be our victim victims MAC address then we will also specifically set up our packet type that we want to send over so it's gonna be the RA router advertisement and we will also make a count of over 1000 that's how, how much we want to send interval of 0.001 .00 so if you actually make the time like that, we can actually sniff the traffic. If, if I try without that, um, we couldn't sniff that because for some reason the speed and, and time limit doesn't let us sniff the traffic. So regarding that, we can just uh, enter it and start the attack. And then we will see multiple requests incoming behind. So we, we injected our packet to spoof us as the router. And if you look at the IP config routing table of the victim, right? This first white IP config, we can see suddenly a default gateway announcing us as the default gateway. So if you look at the IPv6 of the Kali Linux machine, we can see that the injected packet has made us as the default gateway in the victim's machine. So if you for example also look at the routing table, right? Route print six, we can see that the active routes go to the gateway of our attacker's machine. So for now in this example, if I run that again for a longer time and I for example open search, we will see uh, request incoming um, if I open for example Firefox you'll see a lot of data incoming let's try to go to some unsecure site we see HTTP request incoming and we can read everything out you can for example go to youtube.com also it's gonna um, read youtube.com as well as the DNS so if we scroll down we can see here youtube.com we can see the DNS traffic incoming so this is how we can capture the traffic actually and we have also manipulated the routing table to announce ourselves as the default IPv6 local link gateway